Love it how you love me electric Like you do Love it how you love me electric Always you Love it how you love me electric Good morning everyone, welcome back to Run Fan Run Today I'm going to be doing a review on the Hocker Challenger ATR 5s <laughs> Love new shoe boxes Well actually quite nice there we go see that it's a nice colour actually that blue it's really nice and the black I do believe they do come in sort of three different colours anyway so if you do like the brighter shoes but actually I'm quite impressed with them colours I think they look quite nice I like the yellow tag here up at the back as well so yeah it's looking pretty good the feel quite light actually the drop is five Millimeters. How you love me electric, like you do. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Love it how you love me electric. Always do. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Love it how you love me electric. Go. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. We're um, 0.02 miles into the run, and Laura's already dropped a phone. 0 0.02. That's got to be a record. <laughs> Oh, you go. <laughs> yeah, first uh, first rule of ultra marathon training is uh, sort your out. You like me on side in the starless night. First impressions of the Hucker Challenger OTR5 is that they're actually really really comfy. I've slipped them straight on and I can feel the cushioning and the padding is kind of supporting my foot which is great. Um, did a little bit, so I'm jumping around and bouncing in them, not slipping, nice fit. So I would say good true to size as well, they do seem to fit really well. Cushioning on these shoes is really great. I can feel it's really nice and soft under my feet. It's giving me a nice little bounce as well, it's nice. Um, that's what Hocker are well known for, is for the cushioning. And stability. Testing out the stability. It's quite rocky here on this little bit of trails. They do well so far, nice good grip. The lugs are about four millimetres so not as tough as some of the obviously like speed goats and things and the other trails use but actually coping really well eight miles in now and not a problem so I've no rubbing no slipping comfort wise feel really comfy I haven't had to adjust the laces or anything so so far so good better than I've ever been So as you can see, with regards to the colour, I've already just flashed through loads of mud and having dark shoes, bonus. <laughs> so yeah, pretty pretty impressed with my colour choice. Now one thing I haven't mentioned is the weight of the shoes. Um, I know they're obviously not as light as some of the sort of road shoes and things, but based on the trails, they don't feel heavy at all. They do feel like they're quite nice and comfortable and quite lightweight. So, so I think I probably will swap using these day to day rather than my road shoes which I have used um, quite a lot recently however because I do do a lot of mixture of runs I think these will be pretty good for that so yeah definitely if you're more of a sort of trail stroke mode runner I definitely recommend these shoes I would thoroughly recommend the Challenger ATR 5s. Brilliant shoe, great for all purpose. The terrain of trails and the road, that hybrid does really work. It's nice and comfortable, lots of room. The water tests where I went through the puddle, they came up well. They didn't sort of, my feet didn't feel really wet. So that was great. And actually for all round comfort and durability, I, I think they're pretty decent. So yeah. 
well worth it, well recommended. Please don't forget to like and subscribe if you like this video and we'll look forward to seeing you on some of our other Run Plan Run adventures.